Alrighty, welcome back everybody to the Malekith campaign. This is, of course, a grand strategy campaign. Summary on your screen of the mods and playstyle that we are using to turn this into a more epic feeling campaign. More, more epic than vanilla, that is. Um, I'm not going to spend a great deal of detail on that in this episode because I think we're far enough along that most of you already know the drill. So in terms of a uh, status report here, we've got uh, Grom Brindle's army, not him, he himself, but an army of his, a 20 stack with pretty decent units bearing down on us over here at Har Cauldra. We also have Mung coming down. And I know at the tail end of the last episode, I was saying, yeah, I think I could attack them and take them. They're close enough that we can attack. But I was considering not doing it because we desperately need the replenishment. Well, now that I take a second look at this army, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got se six champions and a Chaos Warriors and Skin Wolf. So half of that army plus these characters. Half of that army is actually really strong. Uh, let's just take a look here. I'm not going to actually do it, but yeah. So we got level 5 lord, level 5 hero, and a level 3 hero. So it's not impossible to beat that army, but it's a tougher nut to crack than what I was thinking it was likely to be. And as I did mention, we desperately need the replenishment. Now, we have two armies here. They both need replenishing. What I'm kind of of a mind to do... Wait a minute, let me check and see. Okay, your, your loyalty is at 9, so we don't desperately need to worry about that. I was going to say, I could put some of the most... Some of the best units here in terms of the ones that don't need replenishing. I could put them into Malekith's army and then back this army Let's away a little bit. Um, so that he's at pretty pretty close to full strength in terms of defending Har culture. The, the good news, the bad news is there's two armies bearing down, and if one of them attacks, they might do enough damage to us. We can win against either one of those armies, but they might do enough damage to us that then the second one can attack us, and that one might win. I'm relying an awful lot on the garrison here. Um, I don't think they will attack because they only have a single army each. Actually, let me double check this. Let me let me take a look at what we're looking at here. Okay, so the Ancestral Throng is 84. That's probably their only army. We did just wipe out Grom Brindle's army a few turns ago. And then Mung, yeah, Mung's not all that strong either. Okay, so it's really just a matter of we need replenishing. So I think Supreme one of them, uh, unless one of them comes, and I'm assuming it's going to be, be the Ancestral Throng here that goes before, yeah, Mung goes almost at the very end of the end turn. So he could come up here and lay siege, which would then allow that army of Mung to come down and attack our secondary army. I really don't think that kind of coordination is likely to happen from two different factions. Instead, I think that he'll probably not do anything. Uh, he'll probably raid with that army. If he does come forward and attack, then hey, that's fine with me because we can destroy him. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to keep this army close by. In fact, let's do this. Let's go ahead and put you two and you two and then we'll, we're going to switch out you and you. That's fine. So one for one there. And then you and you. One for one there. And then in terms of spearmen, 82 and 32. So let's take you out. Let's put you in. Okay. So that should work. You're now at 10. That's interesting. I wonder if it's because the units that you just took are of a higher rank. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put you into ambush stance. And we're going to back you up. You're close enough that, the, uh, that this army and garrison would come out to reinforce if someone were to attack you. Therefore, I don't think they are likely to attack. I could do recruiting here as well. Instead of instead of ambush stance, yeah, why don't I do that? So that would mean, well, actually, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay, so 
You've got the two Reaper Bolt Throwers. Dark Let's go ahead and give you one. And then one more of these. And then one more Bleak Sword. Okay. All right. That's what we're going to do right here. Meanwhile, up here, you... I think we, we could obviously attack Valkia. We can't really see everything that she's got in that army. She's got 18, 18, 2, and 2. 16 percent chance to do a wounding of the other two heroes. Let me just move you close enough. Roaming. Okay, Silence we still we really can't get a better look at what else in that army. That's you. unfortunate. I was kind of hoping to see what else she had in that army. Valkia, you are warriors of chaos. Yeah, you're not very strong either. I kind of feel like we could probably win this. Nature's seven tool. units Enchanted. plus, well, really eight. Yeah, seven units plus plus 19. Total of 20. Be you mindless or foolhardy? We've got a lot of melee infantry. Unrestrained. I'm, I'm thinking... I'm, not provoking these I'm thinking fools. we could go ahead and do it. But we don't really need to. We're getting 900 slaves every turn from raiding right here. And she's not likely to attack us because of this army. Yes. So let's let's Red do that. Let's go ahead and get you back. Oops. Wrong, wrong one. I want you to get back into Rebath's army this here. Is real military might. Yeah, 936 slaves every turn is pretty... Pretty good. I pretty good. Not. Okay, so instead what we're going to do is we're going to get you couple of these guys we're just going to keep recruiting in until we've got two full armies here and then she's definitely going to back away we have the money for it and speaking of the money we now have the slaves with which to uh to do some diktats to maybe get more money you down here you need two more bleak swords as far as the Lithanar is concerned, he's only got two armies, one right here, which we actually have a, uh, a mission here to defeat that one, but we're not going to be able to do it this turn, not while he's inside the settlement. That's 25 units. We've got good units here, but they are a little bit dinged up. And he's got those really strong Shadow Walkers, unfortunately. I don't know, that would be an interesting battle, but no, I don't I don't want to take Dread on twenty five units. Beyond even and, and the Lord is level thirty, which is which is a bit much. Okay, so then right here we have a Lithanar himself bearing down on Black Creek Spire. Now, I was thinking about this a little bit, and maybe we could kill two birds with one stone here. So I have a need to try to defend Black Creek Spire this turn but also we've got these lords let's go back here we've got these lords that i'm afraid to recruit because last time i recruited in a, a, a lord who we had already had in the campaign he came in with a uh, a loyalty of one and immediately rebelled over the end turn um the question is, do they rebel at the beginning of an end turn or at the end of an end, end turn? I don't actually know the answer to that. We've got a lot of different sorceresses. We've got three different, four, four different sorceresses, supreme sorceresses that we could recruit. But this, uh, this Dreadlord right here, this is the one that's the highest level. So what, what I'm tempted to do here is to recruit them in to help defend and there's an excellent chance that they'll de die defending but they can help inflict a little Revenge. bit of additional damage to this because what we really want is for a Lithanar to suffer some casualties from attacking here so that we can then subsequently Tyrant let me do this let me put you in 
full speed. If I put you in full speed, you could... Let's go ahead and do this. Let me just make sure that they're not going to be able to reach us. No, they cannot. Okay. All right. So yeah, we're going to go. We're going to go this away. Okay, stop right here. Boom. Whatever is the fastest way to get here. Set the sails. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're unfortunately not replenishing, but you're close enough to possibly. Cruel and deadly. Yeah, you might possibly be able to attack next turn if he tries to, to take this and occupy it. So what we're going to do is we're going to recruit Lord, this guy right here. We're going to find out what his loyalty is. Master his loyalty is nine. Well, now I feel bad. <laughs> oh, dear. Michael, 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 what are you doing? Okay. Well, we want to make him a blade master, I think. We want to make him as... As sturdy as possible to help dissuade, or I shouldn't say dissuade an attack. I think a Lithanar is going to attack no matter what. But it is a minor settlement battle. We do have a little bit of the advantage of the defenders with the mod that we're using. And now that now that you're in there as well, that, that could help slow them down a little bit. And then Regiments of Renown, we could recruit this, the Bolt Fiends, for 850. That's a, that's a thought. I think it's worth 850 to inflict a little bit of additional damage on, on a Lithanar. Shouldn't have to keep paying the upkeep turn after turn. All right, so now, have we done it then for all of our... Let me just make sure you are, you are inside. Yes, you are, okay. Um, Dreadlord of Nagaroth. You, Mr. Agent, we want you... I think we want you to come back here and help. First of all, do, do you do public order? You do not. Okay. Oh, you're generating slaves. Okay. Um, we want you back over here. This, uh, this region right here, this province, is two turns away from rebelling. And so this army no is there to fight the rebellion when it happens. Okay. Reboth and Ulanis, you guys are where I want you to be. You guys are recruiting. You are replenishing. And back to here. Okay, so that's it then for our armies. What violent now delights. for our... For our um, provinces here, you cannot do a diktat, and you don't really need to do anything here building-wise. You are already doing the buildings. I have not yet decided for sure whether I'm going to keep upgrading that. I guess it probably depends on whether or not I'm able to hold on to that region. You are growing... You really don't need, you don't need growth. You need 16,000 money at this point. So growth is not the issue anymore. Let's now go ahead and do this. Let's control. No, you don't really need control. Income. I think. I think, yeah, the income would be good. Okay, we'll do the income. Now, you right here, the Great Arena and the Chill Road. Neither one of you actually have walls, have garrisons. Okay, that's fine. I think I can live with that for now. You, you don't either, but you at least have the 19 size garrison. You are getting a little bit of garrison from the gate to the Underworld Sea, so that's good. You are also in desperate need of 8,000 for uh, for leveling up. Nagarin, nothing for me to do here with you. I think I could probably... No, I'm going to keep doing this because we are still filling up the, the army up here. Okay, so no Dictots for you. You can do a Dictot. Obviously, I don't want to do control, 
I don't really need to do growth because we're already having an issue with, uh, with not being able to level up our settlement buildings. So we're, we'll take the money. Go ahead and lose a few slaves right there. Nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. And once again, you. No need for the growth. We'll take the money. Okay. That And that's why we keep raiding up here in Valkia's territory. Because those 900 slaves every turn is allowing us to keep doing diktats. Okay. I think finally we might be about ready here. We've got a right that we could do. This is for the Supreme Sorceresses. Wins a magic power reserve. It, it's, it's nice to have, but I don't really want to spend 800 slaves on that. So we're not going to. We have winning a, a quest battle. That's not going to happen. Raise, yeah, I think all of these were... Yeah, we already know about all those. Nothing to do with any of those. Finally... Now we can do our diplomacy. We're at rank 22. We're still stronger than our enemies individually, but not collectively, unfortunately. We're getting we're, we're having to divide our our military strength up in too many different places, which is why we're we're not really dominating in any one place. Okay. You military access with the exiles of Nehek. Do we would we want this? They're at war with the Drowned, the Slaughterhorn Tribe, and the Ripperhorn Tribe. Let me just go back to checking to see how strong the Beastmen are. Wait a minute. Up here, Michael. Right there. Slaughterhorn Tribe, not very strong. Whereas the Exiles are also not very strong. How much would they give us? They'd give us a trade agreement. And roughly 1,000. I don't want to do it. I don't want to tie ourselves to them. I'd be too concerned that it might drag us into war with somebody else or make, make somebody else dislike us just enough to declare war on us again. Or for the first time. Anyway, um, we can't afford any more wars. So that's, that's the high priority. Okay, let's go ahead and end our turn. Actually... One more thing to do, and that is to check out... I guess we could probably do it here. We are three turns away from being able to re-recruit our Admiral. Okay, now let's go ahead and end our turn. I'm noticing this sea lane right here, and I'm actually not sure where that leads to. If I click on it during my turn, I think I can determine where it's going to go. Oh, are you going to... Can you reach... No, you can't reach. Okay, so he's not attacking. He just laid siege. Okay, Harganeth, I don't suppose you're going to help fight Valkia? Nope, apparently not. I'm mildly curious if uh, our Admiral, our, our Black Ark, can sail into the settlement that... I guess they can't, because Alithanar has laid siege to it, which is going to then preclude us from being able to help fight that battle with our, with our Black Ark. That's a little bit unfortunate. It'd be really nice if the Drowned did an attack on, you know... Alithanar, who they are at war with, but are just sailing right by them for some reason. I guess on their way to uh, to, flight, to, to fight uh, clan, uh, to Crone Helebron. Uh-oh, he is coming our way. He's just raiding. He's not laying siege. It's kind of what I expected, but he moved closer than I expected him to. Sigvald... Okay, he attacked the settlement garrison. Was that Skaven, maybe? I didn't... I didn't see that that settlement belonged to somebody. Okay, and then finally, Valkyrie, are you going to attack us? You are going to attack us? Wow. Close to feet. Okay, so let's take a look at what she's got. Forsaken. 
Marauders of Corn. These are dual axe. They don't have shields. I kind of feel like we should be able to win this. Um, she is level 18, and actually I guess she's got a level 18 hero as well, so that's an issue. I'm going to fight it, see what happens. We should at least do significant damage to her. I think in terms of priority, we need to get her mobile units. Oh, this is bad. This is this is very annoying game. I don't like it when you've got two armies standing side by side and the enemy army comes and attacks you and your reinforcing army appears on the other side of the attacking army. That's really aggravating. Okay, start deployment. It is really aggravating game. Let's go ahead and switch our controls there. Okay. Yeah, there's no reason at all for this. But what we can do... We're going to get you all into the trees. Okay, you're all invisible. You, your speed is 46. You're going to be visible. You're going to draw them over that way. You guys are going to hide. Start battle. You guys just hide. You. I better actually come over. I might even run him off the battlefield if it looks like it's necessary. Let's try to get him over here. You guys are a minute and a half away. They are coming at him full speed here. Okay, let's go ahead and speed up. Yeah, they're, they are going to catch up. Okay. You guys right here. Time for you to come out. Draw some of them away. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I can't target myself with it. Okay, now over here. Back over here, you guys. All attacking them here. Let's get you guys like this. Chaos Knights. Let's see if we can flank them. Okay. If you can run away... That would be fine. We need you guys to hurry up and come in the battle here. Okay. We are losing to cavalry over here. That's kind of interesting. I would not have expected that. You guys get on her. Okay. We're not even really doing any damage to that cavalry. That's kind of aggravating. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. Now we got... We got you guys over here. Let's do this. Two. One. Dagnabbit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you... You guys are my fours. You are getting like this. You can run away. Hopefully you can... Okay, let's go ahead and do... Let's see, what can we do? Something right here, maybe? Boom. Did some damage to them right there. How are we doing against the, uh, the Chaos Knights? This looks like a bit of a lost cause right here. Okay, meanwhile, over here, you guys... We're going to get you th three on seven and get you over here. You four on eight and get you behind here. Actually, you can go ahead and start shooting. You know what? 
Let's go ahead and put you on anti-infantry and get you shooting at them. And then our four here. Let's go ahead and get you guys like this. Sevens, shoot them. Eights, shoot them. You get on them. We should be able to really do a lot of damage to them very quickly, I would hope. Okay, eight. You guys now get over there and shoot at them. Let's go ahead and do a nice blast of them right there. Okay, they are broken over there. Sevens. Let's go ahead and shoot them. You can go ahead and get over here. You guys go ahead and get over here. Okay, let's go ahead and get you into the battle right here, and you can buff these guys, do some damage to them. Okay, over here, no, I don't want you, you guys shoot them, you guys shoot them, okay, right here, get in on them. Get in on them. Okay. You guys shoot at them. All right, this is not going super well, is it? Let's go ahead and do this over here, maybe. And then you can go ahead and buff these guys. Oops, did I not cast that? I did not. Oh, she has to move. That's unfortunate. Great spears. Make them bleed. Slash. Okay. Eight. Let's get you guys a little bit more like this. Sevens. Let's get you shooting at this Chaos Knight. And let's go ahead and get back to this. How we doing over here? Come on, guys. You should be able to wipe them out, I would hope. Okay, sevens. Shoot at them. Eight. Shoot at them as well. Okay, we really need you. We need, we need our front line here to do better. Okay, you guys... Okay, how are you doing? Come on, wipe them out. Wipe them out. Okay, you are shooting. Shoot at them. Sevens, we've done some damage over there. Can we get them to break? They're wavering. There we go, they're broken. Take them out as well. Eights. We need you guys. Oh, this is bad, okay. You... I need you over here. I need you helping out over here. Okay. 
Yeah, this is not looking good, is it? All right, let's go ahead and do... I kind of feel like we got hosed by the uh, placement of the... ...of the reinforcing army. But it happens. Okay, let's get you guys back. Let's get you casting on them. And you casting on him. Okay. Yeah, this is looking ugly. All right, you guys fall back. At this point, it's a it's a loss. We'll we'll take the L, but we need we need to not lose everybody. Okay, back back you go. We want you to be able to get off the map at least. What about my shades? Yeah, my shades. I'd li really like for the shades to be able to escape. Are you even moving? Doesn't look like you are. Okay, there we go. And we did not do nearly as much damage to her as I was hoping. We wiped out one unit, and we pretty badly beat up four units. But even so, yeah, that's that's a big L. This is an interesting campaign. I have pretty pretty consistently now overestimated the Dark Elves in battle. I must have gotten used to them in Warhammer 2, and maybe they're not as strong in Warhammer 3, or maybe I'm just not fighting them very well. Although this one, again, I kind of feel like the game absolutely screwed us with the, uh, the placement of our armies. Okay. So, let's go ahead and uh, retreat back. Withdraw. Okay, that's not the direction. Oh my goodness, what are you doing, game? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> the Valkyrie attacks from this direction, and not only does the army... Oh, I see. It's because... It's because Valkyrie didn't actually attack my main army there. They attacked my secondary army. That's why the main army moved over to the east instead of moving south. Well, anyway, it is what it is. All right, so I could risk doing... This is a pretty weak army. I could go ahead and risk one of these... I think I will. If this army rebels, I don't really care. So, let's find out... Let's find out what your loyalty is. Your loyalty is 8. Okay. So, it's just extremely bad luck. We've had a lot of bad luck in this campaign as well. Extremely bad luck that I brought in a lord with a loyalty of 1. It really, really ruined the offensive that we had against the Lithanar. But, it happens. Okay. Anyway, down here, yes, we know this rebellion is imminent. And... Did get some ranks. We didn't lose any magic. Oh, yeah, stolen by the enemy right there. Okay. That's okay. Crown of Command. I can live with losing a Crown of Command. Alright, so Malekith now... What are we looking at? No time for this. Both of these guys... The the, no, Mung is actually close enough... Supreme Sorceress of Grand. ...that the garrison would come out as well. That's interesting. Okay, how do we feel about fighting that army... ...with Malekith? King of Nagaroth. Plus, your dark purpose? this garrison. I, I feel the like that's that's changed. pretty winnable, isn't it? I mean, I know they've got good units in there, but still. Part of it's going to depend on where the reinforcing army comes in from. Um, wonder what made me consider that all of a sudden. Okay, let's go ahead and move you a little closer. I, I don't know if they'll run away. Is there any reason to bring this army in? 
I'm actually going to sit this army out. Feel my power. Hmm. If they moved close enough, that makes me think they feel like they're strong enough to to win, even with both armies. Supreme okay, I'm going to move you a little closer. Or were you in an... No, you were not in ambush stance, but you did just recruit. And you do need replenishing. The qu so the real the question is whether or not to bring this army into the battle. I I think they're more likely to retreat if I do. But I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that they are not gonna retreat anyway, even with that army there. Let's find out. Nope, they did. Dag nab it, Michael. Well, and now you we're just going to keep doing more of the same I think where you are going to keep recruiting you've got let's go ahead and give you I think the four is enough. Let's give you the some bleak swords here. Boom. Okay. All right. And now that's that's all that we can afford from uh, an economic standpoint. So we're going to switch your commandment over to income from all buildings, or maybe possibly. Yeah, no, we'll do that. We're going to need all the money we can get. You what? Okay. One more turn, you should have pretty good... Almost... Well, not quite almost fully replenished, but... Closer. Okay, and then you... We need you... Here. What do you seek? And you have room. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and get your wild heart as your passive. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then you. You were pretty underwhelming in that battle, you know? Let's go ahead and get you a born ruler, I suppose. Oh, you get another one. Let's give you hard to hit. I guess we could go ahead and give you the other crown of command to replace the one that you just lost. Okay, and so now you... Silence, worm. Valkia. Sure would be nice if Crone Hellebron would attack her, but I guess that's not likely to happen, is it? Okay, so now you can... We don't need more Dread Spears. What do we need here? We need more Bleak Swords. So we're going to go ahead and come down here with you. And we're going to recruit in two Bleak Swords. Okay. Momentary setback, that's all. And now finally, down here, you are going to get into this army. I really Dread wish we could Lord do something about the the attrition, but even so, you're strong enough to be able to uh, to defeat a rebel army. Here is one army. Reality. Here we go. Revenge. What are we looking at? A close defeat. And you, there's Lord nothing we can do with court. you. We have a deal. To be able to reinforce that battle. That's a little bit unfortunate. Favored of the Witch King. Oh, that's there's not even a port there, so 
Yeah, I don't even know what I was thinking. I, I never was going to be able to attack over here. All right, well, how do we feel about fighting this battle? I mean, we just overestimated our ability to fight the previous battle. But if they're just going to stay here and keep causing us attrition, maybe it's better off if we do go ahead and attack. They have... They have too many of these ships. Let's look at the terrain. They just have too many Shadow Walkers. If we could fight entirely in the forest... That might be worth fighting then. Because those guys right there won't... You know, in, sh shooting in the forest is a little bit difficult. We have two you No, I'm going to... I'm going to decline the attack. Um, and I'm going to force them to attack the settlement. And now you... You can come back here to where you could threaten Slaver's Point, maybe? If you're not going to be able to help out up there... What do I want to do with you? I could also come down here and attack this. The problem is, if I move him over here, he's just going to move this army right back down, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Still, I guess it's, it's better to do that and force him to keep this army here on defense as opposed to letting him build it up and, uh, and go on offense and help out over here even. So... Yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and move you full speed back over this way. Anchors away. Okay. Let's actually move you back just Set a little bitty sails. bit. Don't want to put you too close to the shoreline just in case they can move farther than I think they can. All right. Um, so you're good. You, I could do some more recruiting. You're already recruiting, you are replenishing, you are recruiting, you are replenishing, you are going to sit still. Okay, now from a settlement standpoint, you're fine. Wait a minute, no diktats, okay. You, you are going to rebel. I'm going to go ahead. I don't desperately need the money, so I'm not going to do that diktat. You are only one turn away from the from this building. That's a control building. Two turns away from that, which is making the diktats cheaper. Okay, that's fine. I think we're okay here. Hi, Grafia. Yeah, we just need more money. Just need more money. And then Nagarand. Need a lot more money for you. Money and slaves. It's sort of the uh, the story of the Dark Elves in a nutshell. Okay. I know I'm not going to do that right. I think at this point I probably don't really need to check the diplomacy either. So I think we'll go ahead and... Didn't see that up there. That could be worth going up to as well. Just to try to do something productive with this... with this Black Ark. Okay, and then again, you... Two turns. Should save some money to, to recruit into the the uh, Black Ark anyway. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there. No, I'm, I am going to check Diplomacy after all. I'm a little bit obsessive about it. Okay, they are less... They like us a little bit less now that we've lost that battle, but it is what it is. Okay, let's go ahead. End our turn. See if Alithanar attacks us, see if Grom Brendel attacks us, see if Mung attacks us, see if Valkia attacks us. Too many enemies. And that doesn't even include the enemies like Godslayer over here who's just too far away for us to, to do anything with right now. 
Okay, here we go. Lithanar, you are... Yep, sure enough, that's what we thought. And you are... Just going to continue the siege. Interesting. Okay. Now, Crone Hellebrun, are you actually going to do something productive? You are... Not. Okay. Yeah, I feel like Crone Hellebrun has absolutely done nothing since a few initial successes against Valkia. It's like she's never bothered to recruit into her armies ever since then. Okay, Hag Grafe, you've got lots of armies there that you're just kind of not doing anything with. This is sort of my my theory from the uh, the uh, Karl Franz campaign is that AI that is your in that is the player's enemy seem to behave in a somewhat intelligent fashion. Whereas AI, once they become allies of the player, they go completely brain dead. And, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Surely they wouldn't have programmed the AI to behave differently. Okay, what are you doing? You're just hanging out. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if you're close enough for the garrison to come out and help. Yeah, anyway, so it doesn't make any sense that the AI would behave differently based on whether or not they were a an ally of the player, but that does seem to be the uh, the experience of mine recently. Okay, so Valky is just going to keep raiding. That's fine. She's not replenishing. Subtle torture. All of these minor factions that start out as enemies of Malice are still around. He has not wiped them out. Okay, what are you guys doing now? I don't really know who you're at war with. And then Mung. Once more, I think they're close enough to attack. Okay. All right. Well, we need a win. We need a victory this turn. Our money situation is is a problem. Let's go. Ahead. Yeah, right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and deal with this first. This should be the quickest. There we go. That's interesting. Daughters of the Forest and Heralds of Air of Ariel. Okay. Um, got four trespasser down here. Whatever. Um, fighting pits, attrition, yeah, rank gate, okay. Alright, so, let's go ahead and take a look here. Chaos Warriors, Marauders, Forsaken, Level 1 Lord. Unless these two right here are super powerful, I do feel like we should still be able to win this. Let's go ahead and do the replenish troops. Let's go ahead and attack and see if I miscalculated here as well. Close victory. Let's give a banner to charge bonus and speed. I think we'll give this to... The Death Hag. What's your charge? Okay. The, the, uh, the terrain. Okay. That's fine. Let's go ahead and fight it. We vastly outnumber them, but they do, of course, have the superiority in quality. And we did take a fair amount of attrition there from three turns of chaos corruption. But still, I think we can, we can do this. I think... Since we don't have any artillery, 
I don't actually know if they're going to come towards us or not. Can I hide you guys in the woods? Yes, I can. Dark can I hide you guys in the woods as well. Okay. So what we've got... The merciless host. How do I want to do this? I want you guys here. You guys here. Like so. You a little bit over this way. We're going to put you here in the middle. You can obviously hide anywhere. So we're going to put you in here as well. You can be right there where you are, and then you... Oops, no, I want, I want you over here. I want you over here. Let's go ahead and get you like this, and let's get you like this. Start deployment. Let's see if they come towards us. Half of our army is missing. So let's see what they do. Are they coming? Honor the king! Looks like maybe they are. Yep, they're coming. We are ready. Let's go and get you guys Dreadlord. moving forward like so. It shall be. Keep on coming, guys. I don't want to do this too quickly, so that's why I'm leaving it in normal speed. I can go ahead and do this, and it looks like we've got two, two grouped up right here. Although they have a barrier. That was a, a bit of a waste against the unit with the barrier. Still, at least we did some damage to the Marauders of Nurgle. Okay, now, here we go. Let's get ready to come out with you four. Go ahead. Okay, now you guys in front of them. You here. And you here. And you should be shooting at them. You can go ahead and do this to them. All of you guys shoot the heck out of them. Go ahead and get you charging in. We are ready. We should do pretty good damage to them, I would hope. You get in on them. The cowards attack from afar. We're under fire. We want to focus fire. You can go ahead and get on them. You can go ahead and get in on them. You can go ahead and get in on them. You guys right here, go ahead and widen the line. Let's go ahead and get another one of these going here. Okay. You can go ahead and cast this again. Let's get this on them. Oh, you guys probably... Yeah, this is bad. We should not have done that. Okay, go ahead and get in there and help them out. 
You get in on them. You get in on them. Uh, you guys need to pull back. I didn't. I should put you in guard mode. That's my bad. Okay, let's get you shooting at them. You. Let's get you here. Okay, you shoot at them, actually. Okay, we should be able to win over here. What are you doing? Here, let's get another damaging spell off soon. I'd say right there on those guys. You guys now shoot them to pieces. You can get on them. And you can actually help out as well. You two should be able to shoot over their heads. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. On right here. Okay, that's where the... The trouble is going to be, but okay, we're, we've won over here on the left flank, so that's good. Let's get you in position over here. You can keep chasing them, though. Uh, you, 15. Wait a what am I doing? Oh, no, I need, I need you in there. Durr. Okay, you can go ahead and blast them. I need you two to get over here like this. And I need you to back up here. You can fire in from this flank. We could get some inflating fire down their line. That would be nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if I can get you over there as well. Cold blooded killers. Shoot at them. Okay, you. Okay, we should be in pretty good shape here, I think. You can do another damaging spell on... Let's go ahead and break these guys. Okay, yeah. You keep shooting them for now. You, however, you get over there like that. Okay, you guys, yeah, they, they're about to break over here. You've taken too much damage, though. Let's get you back. You. Are you going to get back? You should be able to. Okay, I want you now shooting at, the, at her. There we go. Okay, we want... We want to kill her. It is a her, right? Or is it a he? I guess maybe, maybe it's a he. Okay, you then can chase, chase them. You move forward. I want to keep doing damage as much as possible to some of their units here. Try to do take out them. Come on, come on. 750 hit points left. Dread spears. Suffering for all. Come on, we can do better than that, guys. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Dealers in death. Dark shots. Make them bleed. We've uh, we've done less than hundred points of damage in all this time that we've been shooting. Okay, we need you shooting. We need you shooting. Got got him down to 475. Tell you what, I'm even willing to do that. Come on. You guys, I, I don't I don't want the swordsmen, the bleak swords. My blade hungers. Nor the spears. You guys can keep can keep trying to. Never mind. There's nothing over there to kill. Okay, what are we looking at? 200 here. Come on, keep shooting. Keep shooting. 41. You can do it. Almost there. There we go. Nicely done. 
So pretty significant damage to our army, but we did a lot more damage to them. We may have even done enough that they're going to be wiped out. If they're not wiped out, I'm going to pursue them, and I'll even auto resolve it as long as we don't lose any units. I kind of feel like they will be wiped out, though. That, that sure looks to me like there's not really very much left there. And we got something called Crimson Death. We got uh, 300 slaves. We'll take that. Got some much needed loot. Crimson Death. Okay, it's a weapon. Weapon strength 8%. Enables magic attacks. Okay, I'll take it. More slaves or treasury? I think we're going to take the slaves. And the army replenishment. Okay, they did survive. Okay, well, we're going to attack them again. You got a bodyguard. Very nice. Let's go ahead and give you your skill ups here. So you can have Sea Dragon Cloak. High Elf Slave. Yeah, there's a good chance that you'll be fighting High Elves. So that works for me. Okay, then you... Malevolent Lord. You can have Dance of Death. Works for me. What? Baudica here. Let's give you Mystifying Miasma, Smoke and Mirrors, and then you. You can't have Hawkeye until level four. We'll go ahead and give you Dance of Death as well. Oh wait a minute, no, scratch that. Undo. It looks like I was trying to use you. I'm using you as a field agent. Okay, strategist. All right, so let's go ahead and give you specialist then. All right. Now, Lord of the Black Court. can we Not fight this without, live. can we auto resolve this without losing any units? Okay, it does look like we can. Just, I'm just, I just don't want the game to make a mistake here. Slaughter. Okay, very good. All right, I can live with that. And then we got... We can either get 0% replenishment and 4 slaves. 115 treasury. This is one of those cases where it's best to just take the unit experience. And what did you get? You got the uh, Armor of Darkness. Okay, we'll take it. Kill them. Okay. Well, we needed we needed that. Now we need to race you back into the settlement so that you can replenish, and also you can help bring down the uh, should say bring up the public order. Okay, and then you get maybe sadistic, maybe dead eye. What's your main stat, weapon master? Okay, you're pretty much weapon agnostic, so we can give you both both missile and melee. Go ahead and give you that for now, the missile for now. All right, you then, we're going to give you one turn to, no, we're not. We're going to go ahead and move you back out. Okay. Keep, are you getting... You generate, you generate 10 slaves whether you're in friendly territory or not, it appears. Okay. What now? So you're, you're good down there. Now you right here. I will decapitate you. She did gain these chaos trolls. Yeah, we, we need more replenishing, I suppose, before we we try attacking her again. So let's go ahead and give... What do you need? You need bleak swords. Okay. 
We're at minus 447, but Silence, that's including the raiding that Valky is doing plus this raiding plus that raiding. Okay, so lots of we're losing about a thousand per turn in raiding. Feel you like can. No, never mind. No, you can't. Right here. Okay. Nope, not close enough for the garrison to come out in either one of these armies. Lord of the Black so the question is, do we go ahead and attack again? Supreme sorceress of Grand. I am a rune lord, not some smith. What is your I think probably purpose? not. I am the witch king. What we've got is the stalemate. Well, it's probably more important that we that we take care of them. But the thing is, I have already suffered an embarrassing loss by overestimating our ability to defeat the dwarves Stop over here. So I'm not going to risk it again. Okay, now back over to you. This is still going to be a close defeat. Okay. We are losing... A little bit every turn. It's only a matter of time before they take it. But we'll still make them pay for it. They're going to have to keep sieging and keep uh, causing attrition. Okay, right here. Again, now that garrison's up to full strength. That army is full strength. That's 25 units against our 20 who aren't at full strength. I think I'm going to sail down... Now I'm going to sail up this way. This one's closer. Can I, can I get there in two turns? Dogs. No, not well. I could probably if I go into full speed. I mean, I really hate to be taking myself way out of the way to do this, but I just want to do something productive with this, this black arc. At this point, you still need more, a lot more growth before we can level you up. Dreadlord. If I put you at full speed, you should be able to attack that next turn. I'm going to do it. Awaits. At the very least, by threatening Slaver's Point there and forcing that army to come back down. We bought this army time Dreadlord. to replenish before they can come down there and attack. Obviously, that garrison is going to be quite Dreadlord. strong if they were to send one of their armies over this way. Okay, all right. So, no combat over here. You've already had your combat. No combat up here for the moment. Are you mindless or foolhardy? If I were to subtract out these two units, no, they, that, that army's... I think we learned our lesson last turn. Okay, back to you. I am going to go ahead and, and recruit again right here. One more... Two more of these, one more of these. By changing the commandment... Okay, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine, okay. Up to a 19, size 19 army. You are size 20. What about the uh, heroes? Yep, got them all maxed out. One more turn. One more turn of replenishing here. One more turn of recruiting here. And then these two almost full stacks. I, I wish we had more replenishing going on here, but it's fine. Um, you know what we could do? Supreme! It's a, it's a little bit 
a little bit heavy on the micromanagement, but we could move. These damaged units back into Malekith's army and get like these full, fully replenished. Yeah, let's do that. Dark sorceress. There's really no reason not to. Okay, so we're going to take you and we're going to give three units of dark shards. And we're going to pull back out. Three units of dark shards that are at full health. We're then going to send in four units of bleak swords. One, two. Nope, we're only going to do two units of bleak swords. So, which two? Okay, we're going to send those two in. We're going to replace them with those two. Now we'll do three. So, you. Now we'll do all four. Okay, you four, you four. And what about spears? Yeah, we're going to do the spears also. Am I sure I want to do this? Yes, I am sure I want to do it. Boom. You're still at 10. You don't need the replenishment. You guys inside the city are the ones who do need the replenishment. And you're replenishing faster. I still don't think they're going to attack. What now we can go ahead and add in the units that we're going to recruit here. Boom, boom, and boom. You know what? I'm going to get... Nope, that's fine. It's fine. Okay. And then starting next turn, we'll push them back from raiding. Push you back from raiding. Decapitate you. Yep, okay. So, our armies are all good. Everything slows down, I have noticed, when, uh, when the campaign gets stressful and I need to take my time. I, I hope that this is not, um, doesn't make the episodes uninteresting, but I do go a little bit slower and double-check myself a lot more when, uh, when things get stressful here. Okay, let's go ahead and check out our settlements. Sorceries. You are fine. You are fine. You are fine. 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 Okay. I guess I could do this. Is there any reason to? Not really. Control's not an issue here. I don't think I need to level up the walls. Okay. So then it's just a matter of commandments. Do we want to do any, or I should say diktats? I could go ahead and do this. I don't desperately need the money. But if I did do... Actually, let me go back to this. What do we need here? 8,000. If I... No. Because I, I, I need a cushion because we're, it, we're in deficit spending right now. All right. I think we're going to leave it there. Let's go ahead and check diplomacy again. Back up to 21. Exiles of Nehek. You guys are getting pretty badly beaten up here. How much are you going to give us now? 880. Or 257. Nope, not, not interested. Not good enough. What about Crone Hellebron? Who are you at war with right now? You're at war with... Everybody under the sun, just like we are. I guess that makes sense. Malice, pretty much the same. Let's take a look at... Valkia is just at war with us three. Sigvald, us three, plus subtle torture. Here we go. The Heralds of Ariel here. Ripperhorn tribe and the daughters of the forest. Okay, all right, fair enough. Let's go ahead and uh, and in this turn, how much time do I have left here? Sixteen minutes. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe a Lithanar will attack us now. Okay. Yep. Sure enough. All right. Well, it's going to be a longer than 
90 minute episode, but I think we're going to go ahead and fight this. Okay, it's not, it's not the worst. It's not the worst layout in the world, but we need to be extremely careful about the amount of damage that his Shadow Walkers are going to do. We're not going to stick all of our troops at the choke points like we sometimes do, because the Shadow Walkers will just destroy them from range. Okay. Looks like, uh, for the most part, they're attacking from over here. We've got 1,100. Let's go ahead and get this built right away. Do I want a barricade here? Missile resistance. Where's missile resistance? Missile resistance is 500. Missile resistance is going to be an important one. Okay, so here's the question. We want to stop them from taking this control point. The best way to do that, let's put ourselves in a position here where we can fire on any units that come in to take that control point. You're going to be... You're going to be eight. I want to kind of divvy up our... Okay, what do they have over here? A hero and silver and guard. Okay, so that's... So we want one of you over here. For this control point. Let's get you maybe here. Bleak sword! And we'll get those bleak swords. Actually, the bleak swords are pretty much positioned right where I'm comfortable with them. You guys right here. You're right here, but just... Just for purposes of deterring them from sending anybody up this way. Now you... I want you over here. So, this control point right here has two towers. There's a tower right there. It's not a priority tower, however. Okay, I think what we're going to do, we're going to put you here. We're going to put you over here where we know they have some units. We're going to put our shades. No, we need the shades over here. We need the shades over here. Let's get you guys. What's your range? Let's get you guys right here. Just in case they decide to send, send somebody this way. All right. Yeah, I just wonder how many of their Shadow Walkers are going to be over here. Okay, so we've got... We've got you... Let's get you here. You, you... Then you, and then you. That's fine, okay. You can be... You can be over here, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's get you right here. Boom. All right, so now you need to be... We are ready. Right there, okay. Which elves? You guys. We'll get you here. You'll, you'll be the defense of this. I could run you forward and build that barricade there. That's a possibility. Okay, you... And you. 
I still kind of feel like it's more likely. that the Shadow Walkers are going to be over here, but they might divide them up into different places as well. That's always a possibility. And what hap What we want to do is we want you two... You guys are my fives. I've got Dark Riders, and I've got Doomfire Warlocks. You guys are my fives. I want you riding out and attacking the Shadow Walkers Outside the walls once we ident once we find out where they are. Okay, you, Dread, Mr. Dreadlord, think you're okay over here on this side. No. No, we really don't want Well, if they've got Shadow Walkers over here, I'd better have a unit. I'd have a little better have a little bit more help over here. So that's fine. You, we want you over here for sure. Let's get you right here. You're the unit that you're our best range unit, but you're also the one that's most expendable. Because I uh Eager for battle. I don't want to have to keep paying upkeep for you. And then we've got these shades as well. So let's get these shades over here. Since it's almost a given that they are gonna come up this way. Witch elves! Alright. The radius of that missile resistance is how far? 32 meters. Okay, we're going to try to get that built, I think. Let's start the battle. You know what? I didn't really... Figure, well, never mind. You are. Uh, you should stay there in the middle because you have... No, actually. Let's get you over here. Okay, yeah. They definitely are coming up this way. Okay, yeah, you're taking damage. That's a problem. Are those Shadow Walkers? Those are Shadow Walkers. Okay, yeah, let's get you back. And you, yeah, you're doing... Okay. Let's get our fives then... On... What's going on over here? Silver and Guard, are there... Yeah, there's... Sh I'm going to get them over there. All right, right here, you guys need to fall back. Like so. Okay, right here. Yeah, you can, actually we need you up here now on them. Can I build this? Let's try it. Okay, right here. You go there, you can try to shoot there. We are ready. Yep, help out on this, uh, that birdie. Okay. You help out on the bird as well. And then you three as well. Okay, we want you to back up. Okay, what, how are we doing over here? Really, guys, we can't do any better than that. Plus, we can't even finish building the barricade. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay, what do we got over here? We need a uh, tower built right here. If I can click on it. Oh, don't have the... 
the resources for it yet. Fives, what are you guys doing? Okay, what about you? Let's get you shooting down there. Let's get you in on them. You can help out over here as well. We're almost at 900. Let's get this tower built soon. Is that tower tied to that? Actually, that's probably not the world's best tower, is it? Okay, you guys, close enough. Go ahead and get in on them. Back over here. You guys should all be firing, hopefully. Wow, that Great Eagle is still alive. That's unfortunate. You broke down here. That's not really a surprise. Silver Helms are doing better than I might have expected over there. Let's actually get you turned around so you can help out there. Let's get you... Yeah shoot at those shadow warriors actually you shoot at those shadow warriors as well stay in, in defense and guard mode okay anything over here any more towers to build we could build this tower right here okay you hopefully are shooting the shadow warriors as well okay we're starting to lose some units now I, I just noticed Let's get back over here. How are you guys doing? Dark Riders. Okay, that's good. We'll take that. How are we doing over here? We should be able to do some Dark decent shots. damage to... Kill them. Cold -blooded killers. Die, weaklings. Come on, come on. Okay, what about you? How are you? Oh, you're still fighting over here, okay? You guys are doing okay. You guys over here are doing okay. You right here, you need to get out of there, it looks like. Let's try to get you on them. Okay, we need this tower built. And we need to not lose all of our units prior to... Okay, we've got, we've got them broken right there. That's good. You three now, everybody shooting. You know what, I need you to back up. Let's get you guys back up here. Let's get you back here. You guys get back up here. We need you up here. Can't afford that yet. Okay, over here, how we doing? Looks like we're doing okay right here. Uh, we. This is a little bit unfortunate right here, okay. Still, we're, we're doing all right right there. Okay, you, yeah, get back in on them. Get, yeah, to try to take out those Shadow Walkers right there. You, warriors are rallying. I didn't really see who that is, but... Okay, you guys... At this point, try to take out those Shadow Walkers. Okay, we have some of them shattered. Here, you shoot at them. You shoot at them. Actually, no, don't shoot at uh, shoot at them. They're a little bit more easily targetable. Um, same, same for you, actually. Okay, you guys shoot at them. All right, fives. How are we doing over here? We got them broken. Okay, I think you guys at this point all need to get up here. Over here, I've not even done anything with you guys, so you guys get up here. 
This is this going okay. We can still do this. We're doing some decent damage over here. We're also taking a lot of damage right here, but come on, let's shoot. Keep trying to take out those, uh, okay, those Silver Helms are about Make broken. Try to break those Silver Helms if possible. You are getting shot to pieces by those Shadow Walkers, of course. Let's go ahead and just see if there's any, any use in that tower right there. Over here, how are we doing? We've got them all pretty well broken. Okay, that's good. That's very, very good. Let's get you guys over here. Okay, um, yep, you just stay there, that's fine, let's, back, let's start building some of these, here, this one right there might be good, okay, we're gonna lose, okay, here's Alethanar himself, we're gonna lose this control point it looks like. But, you guys actually, you can all get, you can take it back and make it take a little bit of time for them to, uh, there we go. Now we got the tower shooting at them. What are they at, 2,000? Are they taking any damage at all from the tower? A little bit hard to tell. Okay, these guys are coming back, but the tower should take care of, of them, I would think. Okay, my timer going off. I feel like the towers over here ought to... You, I don't have a tower over here. Well, no, that's going to be an issue then. Okay, so what we need then is we need you here. And maybe you as well. Okay. How are we doing over here? Where's the uh, Shadow Walkers? There we go. Get get on those Shadow Walkers. You, you get on those Shadow Walkers as well. You can come back over this way and help out over here. We're about ready to get this built. I think we're doing okay. Okay. Right here, we ought to be able to take them out, I would think. Even even Dread Spears. Okay. However, they still have a quite a lot down here. This is a bit unfortunate. They've got more units down here than I have accounted for. But we are shooting them with our towers. This is one thing that the towers are good for. What we want is we want you guys to get over here. You're fine right where you are. So are you. Okay. Down here we should... We should have wiped these Shadow Walkers out. The Wavering. Come on, break them. We're down to 19 models here. Okay, you... Let's get you up here. Let's get you and you back here. How are we doing up here? That tower is just about built. Let's get you back, actually. Okay, they're wavering back there, but they're not... Okay, he's wavering as well. I'm just reluctant to lose this lord. In fact, I don't want to lose this lord. I want you to come up this way. Alright, how are we doing over here? 
They are coming. Are those the Shadow Walkers? That is the Shadow Walkers. Go ahead and chase away those Shadow Walkers. Lithanar is taking his sweet time coming in this way. They're trying to break through this barricade. That's fine. Let's go ahead and start getting more of these things built with missile resistance. Just in case we end up needing them. Okay, you. How are we doing over here? The, okay, they're... We might have... Okay, they're broken at, at the very least. Now I feel better about uh, leaving this side over here the way that it is. We'll just get you guys up here into the middle. You can now make your way over here. You are running them off. They do have Silver and Guard over there. Let's get you up back up here. Okay, you guys are almost there. That'll be good. Yeah, if they get it, they get through this barricade here, they're almost through it. These shades right there should be able to do some good work against them. Let's go ahead and get you guys over here now as well. You are already on your way. You guys are already on your way. Over here, it looks like they're coming back, but that's fine. The towers will take care of them over here. I feel reasonably confident of that. Now, any other towers that we can build? Let's see here. Those are both built. Oh, they took out our tower. That's unfortunate. It's okay. You guys are just about in position here. Okay, you guys. You st stay where you are and just shoot. Shoot those Reaver Archers. That's fine with me. Wavering. Okay, what, what, what is going on here? What is taking you guys so long? Hurry up and get in there. The merciless host. Okay, we took care of the uh, the rangers. We do need you to back up now. Oh, they took a lot of damage right there. Okay, this is... Uh... Okay, you guys are all taking the long way around. Did I make a mistake over here? The shades, we need you shooting at them. We need you... Attacking them. We need you guys up here. Come on, guys. What is taking so long? Really? The barricades there slow down our own troops? That's a bit unfortunate. Okay, these shades need to fall back. You guys have a good firing angle on them. How are you guys doing over here? Let's get you here into the middle. I lost a victory point. What victory point did I lose? Oh, that one right there. Okay. Well, that's bad. Yeah, I want you guys... Come on, guys. Please listen to me when I give you orders. Doesn't seem like it should be... And, and stop moving forward. Oh, my goodness. All right, this is going to be a lot closer than I was hoping. Let's go ahead and build this. Well, they probably don't even have... At this point, they probably don't have any more uh, missile units. They probably burned through almost all their ammo. So we're going to go ahead and do the uh, these. Okay. All right. Up here, you. This tower can get built. Just in case. Okay, you can get forward here. Alright, they broke our shades. That's a bit unfortunate. Those Shadow Walkers actually do have a little bit of ammo. Okay, and Alithanar, yeah, they're going to end up winning it. 
Oh my goodness, all my units broke. Oh, I was so close. Well, I thought I had left enough units back at the main control point, but apparently not. It is legendary very hard. These things happen. Looks like we killed one hero. Almost killed that wizard. Oh, so close. Took out one spear unit, but we didn't get either of the silver and guard. Didn't get any of the rangers or shadow walkers. Unless these down here took enough damage. I don't know. We'll find out in a moment. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Didn't take out the Great Eagle or those Silver Helms or those. These are Ranger. No, those are Shadow Warriors. Where's the Rangers? Those are the Rangers. Okay, no, anyway. All right, well, could have been better, but we did do a decent amount of damage to him anyway. Did he raise it? Wow, he raised it. Wasn't expecting that. That was definitely winnable. Had I kept more units back in reserve, that was winnable. Well, except I don't know whether a Lithanar would have ever broken. I mean, we might have just run into another one of those problems where we just couldn't have killed his characters. Malice, are you actually going to attack? A little bit hard to tell. Well, at this point, if anybody else attacks, we're going to have to uh, fight it in the next episode. We've gone well over time here. Oh, he jumped past us. Interesting. Okay. Kind of forgot that the dwarfs could do that. And Valkia is moving closer as well. Interesting. Well, we're... Uh-oh, this is bad. All right. Let's hope we don't see any of his armies anytime soon because we don't need more enemies right now, that is for sure. We're going to have several battles that are optional for us this turn. And I feel like we pretty much are going to are going to accept the challenge. We need to start pushing some of these guys back. Not too happy with Turox right now, but it is what it is. Unless Mung attacks us, they are not. They better not be close enough to... Are, would they reinforce one another? I don't actually know whether Mung and the Ancestral uh, Throng would reinforce one another. That would be a disaster if they did. Okay. Alright. Settlement raised. Ready for duty. That's what we want right there. Okay. Ready for duty. Okay. Alright. Alright. Well, we'll go through all of this then at the beginning of the next episode. But yeah, we got uh, we got our work cut out for us. We're losing a thousand per turn right now. Malakith. I don't re I don't see a reinforcing line being drawn between the two of them. 
Malekith plus Selveth here. Definitely going to make an attack. The question is, which one are we going to attack? But that's something that we just kind of have to do at this point. And then right here, Valkia with 19. Supreme sorceress of we could consider this a, a, this attack as well. We we struggled with it last time, but Supreme maybe the reinforcements won't uh, hose us this time. So that's a possibility. Then down here, not here, down here, we need you to build up enough to start to threaten. Well, actually, you know what? We need you to be able to fight the Beastmen. Okay, well, now I know what I'm going to do with you. All right, and then down here, you are going to take this and then sail back up here and do something I don't know what yet. Okay, so we've got optional battle one, optional battle two, optional battle three. And I won't say mandatory, but but certain certain battle right here, four. Okay. All right, well, we're going to leave it there. Uh, this one went kind of long. Sorry about that. Anyway, thanks uh, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.